Jumbles are a simple butter cookie, similar to our modern sugar cookie. They have a long history dating back to the 16th century. Receipts were commonly printed in cookbooks. The one being made today was published in Eliza Leslie's 1828 cookbook, 75 Receipts for Pastry, Cakes, and Sweetmeats. The original receipt calls for a half a pound of flour to be sifted into a large bowl. This is equivalent to one and three quarter cups. In a separate bowl, the next two ingredients will be creamed together. A half pound of butter, or one cup, at room temperature. And a half pound of powdered loaf sugar, or one and one eighth cups granulated sugar. Use your hand to mix the two ingredients together. It will warm the butter and combine the two ingredients together nicely. Next, lightly beat three eggs, then throw them all at once into the pan of flour. Now put in at once the butter and sugar. Add one tablespoon rose water to the mixture. This flavoring was quite popular in the early 19th century. The receipt does advise if rose water is not available, then six to seven drops of strong essence of lemon can be substituted. The spices are the last ingredients and can be adjusted to personal taste. Grate one whole nutmeg into the bowl. This is equal to two teaspoons ground. Using a small teaspoon, combine both mace and cinnamon. The receipt says, stir the whole very hard with a knife. A spoon will work just as well. If the mixture is too wet, add a bit more flour. Spread some flour onto a table or cutting board and flour your hands well. Using your knife, take up a portion of dough and lay it on the floured table. Roll it lightly with your hands into a long, thin rope, then curl it into a spiral. Traditional shapes for jumbles included spirals, rings, knots, and loops but could also be simply cut into squares or circles. Place the cookies on buttered baking sheets with space between them as they spread out when baking.
Bake them in a quick oven or if using a modern oven at 400 degrees for about five minutes or until golden brown. Once the jumbles are done, sprinkle them with sugar and enjoy.